Okay. Let us start uh, with uh, the first question. Hmm. I'm retiring from what we call active leadership as an archbishop in this area. I've been a bishop here now, or archbishop, for 25 years. My life generally centered around promotion of peace. Because I pledged that on the day I was installed, some of you were not there. I don't know if uh, I was you, in Kampala. you were in Kampala. Mm. On the very day I was installed, on the 10th of April, 1999, my statement was like this. I picked a young boy, just like this, of about, I think he must have been either two or three years old. I picked him and put him on my hand, here. And I asked him, just two simple questions. I said, you, do you like kukuku? I made a kukuku. No, 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 no. I don't want to go. Then, he made a coach. He nodded like this. He said, yes, I want coach. Then I turned to the audience. I said, you people, especially the adults, this young boy wants to live in peace. He wants to grow in peace. Have we a right to deny it to him? We need to work for peace. I, for one, I pledge I will be working for peace with all those who like to promote peace. That was my statement. And I stuck to it. All the years I've been an archbishop here, I stuck to that statement. From there, I was introduced to actually religious leaders' peace initiative. As a vice chairman, after about two years, I was elected by the group to be chairman of actually religious leaders' peace initiative. I did the first term for about two years. Then the, th the second term, the members again elected me. And that was the time now I took it upon myself with the, the other members of LP, that we must now take direct steps for promoting dialogue. Besides doing what we call, you know, mobilization for peace and working here and asking the people that the national spirit must be to promote peace, starting with us here. then with the government, with the nation, and above all, with LRA. We organize a very serious moves for advocacy. We went to see the president himself with Bishop Uchola. That was the first one. Second time, we went to the president again. And uh, we told the president four things. Number one, provide security for the people. The people here are really totally insecure. Number two, humanitarian support. Humanitarian support because they do not know where to get the resources. And for feeding, there was nothing. Then number three, we said, President, you have been fighting now with these people for so many years. Why don't you try peace, eh? peace talk or dialogue? And then thirdly, I mean fourthly, if you need our help as religious leaders, actually religious leaders, we are ready to cooperate with you and see if we can be used. Then he said to us, yes, if those people are willing to, they are willing really to talk with us, we shall do. If they are not, we shall fight. Then we advise him, don't now continue with the fighting. It is too much for the people. Then he asked us, 
Can you find where these people are? <laughs> After a week, he gave us 21 days. 21 days, he said 21 days. If you don't get these people, nothing doing. God arranged that. <laughs> he sent his minister for presidential affairs. That was Bukenya, Professor Bukenya. He called for a meeting in, in the residence of Archbishop. Then, when we were talking there, I received a call from the LRA. They were only yet four days eh, after our meeting the president. So it remained about <laughs> 17 days. They said, are you Archbishop Odama? I said, yes. Said we want to talk, you, the religious leaders, to be retail, what do you call it, mediators. Mm. Can you help us so that we talk with the government and stop this war? I said, this is exactly what we wanted to do. But where do we get you? The story is very long. The first arrangement we made, the first one, the first flopped. The second one, now the second was the following week. That succeeded. We met them <laughs> in the bush, in the Guru Guru area there. We talked and told them, now it's time to talk peace. You have fought already for many years and people have lost their lives, many, and many are in the camps. So please, can you stop? Said if the government wants peace to talk with us, peace we shall we shall talk. But if they don't, we shall fight. Just like the other side, we received. We told them it's high time now you talk peace, not 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 war anymore. Okay. Thank you. It took us some weeks, but then we began coordinating between them and the, and the government, and then between government and the LRA. We became like a bridge. Bam. The LRA with the government through us, LP. Until the peace talks started 2006. It took two years, eh? mm -hmm. <laughs> up to 2008. In this second part of our interview with Archbishop Emeritus John Baptist Odama, he speaks about his encounter with LRA leader Joseph Cony, sleeping in the jungles with the rebels and also eating delicious meals prepared by the LRA rebels. If I was to be scared, it would have been the first attempt we went to see the LRA. Mm -hmm. I would have been as scared. And we slept in this camp there. <laughs> they prepared a warm bath for us, and we ate some corn unga with the riomu puwari. Meet, meet more.